Next up, we got. We are witnessing the fall off of Steph Curry. Now, y'all know, even though I'm not a Warriors fan anymore, I still love Steph Curry, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't think my love for Steph Curry will go away. Um, literally one of the greatest, if not the greatest point guard of all time. All right? Now, I want to see why he's saying the fall off of Steph Curry. I don't think Steph Curry falling off. Maybe his team falling off. The Warriors kind of falling off. You can say that. But they kind of coming back, though. But they're just kind of just like, you know, it's like in a kind of like a, a freeze mode. We don't know really what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? We kind of just seeing these, these couple years. Uh, so y'all let me know y'all any of y'all opinions in the comment section. If you want more videos like this, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button. Let's just hop into it. The Warriors just lost Kevin Durant for a second time due to an Achilles tear. Clay Thompson already missed game three, leaving Curry facing a box and one. In game six, when Clay Thompson goes for a dunk and Ooh. lands on the floor in pain, the camera pans to Stephen Curry, who is sitting on the floor in disbelief. And now, in 2024, we saw Curry have a similar reaction, with tears on his face. Not because of Draymond getting ejected four minutes into the game but because of what it means something that we all know but isn't being talked about enough and after a game when draymond does his signature night night curry has no reaction daps him up and keeps going this season for the warriors has been a disaster and it's finally breaking steph curry but why now why is curry just done with the war to the point that he's crying on the court i'm going to go through the three key pieces and how this will change how we all see the legend that is steph Curry. What is up, dudes, dead spawners, players? It's your boy MJ. The Warriors are who they are today because of Kerr. He's the best player in their franchise, possibly best point guard ever. But that doesn't mean that the Warriors have done things. What the f Bro, chat. It's so it's windy outside. Hold on, let me hold on. Bro, that shit literally sounds like somebody was whistling in my ear, bro. I got so scared. But that doesn't mean that the Warriors have done things the way he won. In fact, it's been chaos, and that's piece number one. The Warriors have been dysfunctional for the past five years, and yes, even during their surprising championship season. Something that gets swept under the rug, and I'm not doing that. But before we get there, we need to understand what went wrong. Because it all starts in 2018. Before Curry was on the floor in the finals, before Katie got hurt, on November 12, 2018, Draymond and Katie got into it, and Dre called Katie a bitch and said that we don't need you. But it wasn't the moment that- See, that's the thing about Draymond. It's like, bro, Draymond, we understand, bro. You know what I mean? You want to be the toughest nigga of all time, bro. And which, honestly, bro, like, y'all already know how I feel about it. You don't need to do that. You know what I mean? Like, we're all making millions, bro. You're not no better than the next person, especially not KD. Draymond, you're a good franchise player for the Warriors, but if you say who I'm taking the last game-winning shot, KD or fucking Draymond Green, I'm taking Dr KD, bro. Come on, let's be honest. Come on, we don't need you. Now, I ain't gonna lie, they don't really technically need him, but y'all do need any. That's, that's not, that's, come on, bro. He's a good addition to the team. <laughs> He's a good addition. Calm down, buddy. All right, so the fact that he doing all this, um, it just be like, bro, it's too much, bro. It's too much. And, and, and he got gray hairs and shit, bro. He's supposed to be like the father of the team, bro. Why is he the hothead? Why is people younger than you teaching you how to act? Like, come on, man. A bitch and said that we don't need you. But it wasn't the moment that caused the issue, it was how it was handled. Where everyone sort of brushed it over, and that's when K decided he was going to leave. The Warriors made the best of the situation. Making niggas, the so he making he making niggas lead a team, bro. That's how bad it is, bro. And obviously KD is such a good player, everybody want him. So it's like he can go to a different team to get a good contract. It's not that hard. You know what I'm saying? So he really can't just leave, bro. And he got his ring, it's over. He decided he so. was going to leave. The Warriors made the best of the situation getting D'Angelo Russell in a sign and trade, who they would later flip for Andrew Wiggins. But man, 2019 through 2021 were rough. 2019 because Curry and Clay were both hurt, and they went 15 and 50? 
but in 2020, Damn. Curry went through it for several reasons. The Warriors drafted James Wiseman with the number two overall pick, but he was not healthy. And the Warriors completely changed their roster with a lot of randoms that led to growing pains and Curry frustrated. I am having a very bad day. Damian Lee was out of the league two years later. Juan Scott Anderson isn't even getting playing time now. James Wiseman would get trade and at the current moment is on the bench. <laughs> but of course, that wasn't considered. It got to the point that people were immediately starting to say, Is Dame the top point guard in the league? Yep. Wow. Yes, he is. And as great as Steph Curry has been, Damian Lillard's two years younger and has taken the next step. Now, if you think Stephen Curry doesn't care, think again. He cares about what people start saying. Remember Kendrick Perkins? Yeah, zero championships, right? He cares about his legacy, something we're about to get to in 2022. But Curry, who was already an NBA champion, was getting disrespected. He answered by leading the league in scoring. Yes, Steph Curry, without another all-star, carried the Warriors to the eighth seed, even after defenses were throwing everything at him like this. Curry, step back three! He was still ball. Oh, the hope was that once Klay Thompson would come back, maybe the Warriors could be good again. This is what Curry said. Now I'm in a new experience for me, Draymond Loon. Don't want to see us next year. He was fuming, fired up for next season. Even as the core was getting older, even though Klay was coming back from an Achilles tear, that almost delusional belief is what kept the Warriors going. Well, kept the players going because the management didn't believe, they just didn't believe that the team could get done and want the team to focus on younger players. In fact, the Warriors going into the 21-22 season were 9th in power rankings by Bleacher Report, 13th in LA Times times pretty middle of the pack it's why management want to develop their younger picks kuminga moody and wiseman to hence their bets because the roster didn't seem like it could go the distance what i find interesting is that even with steph curry who came off of scoring the most points he ever had in a season averaging 32 points a game the warriors didn't have the same Ooh. faith and switched to a quick rebuild mindset to tool rather than push but clay would come back and while he wasn't the same old Clay, he had his moments and was good enough that Curry's faith was rewarded. Wiggins revamped himself, players finally understood how to play with Curry, how to spot him wide open, and that led to perhaps the most important moment, the Warriors winning a championship and Stephen Curry finally won his finals MVP. You can see how much it meant to him crying on the court. And afterwards, he was talking the talk, especially to all the doubt. And you would think the Warriors would be in contention next season, but Draymond punches Jordan Poole and oh the vibes are just off. Jordan go Poole yeah. I literally went through this whole shit. I forgot this happened. Why are you beefing with your own teammates? Who beats with their own teammates? You're supposed to be brothers. You're supposed to be brothers, bro. You know what I'm saying? The whole league hates y'all. And now you're going to beef with the own, the own person that's on your side. Come on. Hey, Draymond might be y'all downfall, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Jordan Poole and the vibes Same are not, just, bro. uh. Jordan Poole goes from being the Warriors' next Splash Brother and the regular season did average over 20 more inefficiently Jordan to Poole. averaging 10 points a game in the playoffs. Clay was unable to really defend and they didn't have chemistry, which showed up in the playoffs. Even Draymond said they had awful chemistry. What the hell Damn. was that? Well, Duh, when you go from kicking your opponents to punching your own teammates, that tends to happen. So another year lost in the championship window. And this season, well, I'm gonna try to recap it in 15 seconds. Draymond kicking gets indefinitely suspended and contemplates retirement, play breaking a lot, Wiggins taking personal time off, young players scared of making mistakes, and some adjustments. Yup, absolute chaos. And through it all, Curry was trying to hoop. Where most players will have lost on hope before the championship in 2022, and even after last season, Curry had a lot of faith in himself and his closest teammates to get done. But that doesn't seem likely because of piece number two. The Warriors are potentially calling it quits after this season. And that's coming oh. from the Warriors owner. It's no secret that Clay and Draymond Green's contracts 
are ending soon. Clay is up this year, Draymond in yeah. two, but there was talk that he might get moved around. But the Warriors paid over $150 million in taxes last year to keep this exact roster intact. That's right, the new luxury tax rules made Wait, whoa, whoa, we got so somebody gotta explain this to me. This exact roster intact. That's right. Luxury tax key points. Salary cap says 109.1 million, while luxury tax will be 132.6 both of the last season. So where is this? So I understand tax, but so where is it? NBA will reduce the luxury tax bill for teams at the end of 2021. Wait, how do you look at what this is? Luxury tax. I've never heard of this before. Luxury tax. So I guess if you're rich, you get a different type of tax. Ex exercise uh, goods or services considered to be luxuries rather than necessities. Okay. Okay. So what does that mean? So what's NBA? System designed to punish teams progressively more based on how much they have exceeded the set limit. The more teams spend on players, the more fees they have to pay. Dang, that's tough. So they, got, so they say they're going to reduce it. Reduce it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so yeah, somebody explain to the me in the new comments. new luxury though. tax rules made the Warriors a luxury tax repeater, making them pay higher rates for going over the salary cap since they re-signed their core to massive contracts. Wait, and Joe Lake about, of the owner- about going over your salary cap? I didn't know if you can do that. I thought the whole point of a salary cap was that's their salary cap. Like, you only can spend so much. You know what I'm saying? You went over it? How did it? Okay. Warriors, a luxury tax repeater, making them pay higher rates for going over the salary cap since they re signed their core to massive contracts. And Joe Lacob, the owner, is sick of it. He stated that he wants to be completely out of the luxury tax, which means the Warriors will have 30 million to sign Clay and three other players, one of them being CP3 if they still want him. What? Clay wants to be accurately paid, and he's willing to go to other places to get it. That's what the reports are saying. Time is extremely limited, especially if you're trying to do something special, something that somehow has slipped everyone's mind. No, honestly, I feel like what they're going to do is they might sign Clay, but they probably won't sign Clay, to be honest. They won't sign Clay, bro. I'm not going to lie. They're not signing Clay. Draymond definitely getting passed around like a balloon after this. Um. It's gonna look tough for the Warriors. I ain't gonna lie, bro. It's gonna look tough, but it might also be good though, because also with all this new free space, y'all can get some new young players. So now I imagine Steph Curry around all goaded players. Hold on. Which we're gonna get into. And for Steph, who is now 36 years old, having two chaotic seasons at 34 and 35, while you were fortunate enough to actually be healthy, is a letdown. And we're trying to do something special right here and talk about real basketball. So if you're with it, subscribe for more because we're making a push like the Warriors making a push for the play. And that's the thing. It's not injuries that are holding this team back right now. It's the players and management themselves. Even Draymond Green was mid-season about to call it quits. And what is almost a double-edged sword is that Draymond is one of the few players that can utilize Curry the most. There's a special understanding of where he Now, yeah, now that's the one thing about Draymond I can't discredit. Draymond does do what he has to do, all right? Now, setting up plays for Steph, yes. I'm not saying he can't do that. You know what I'm saying? But when, when he talk, like, bro, let's just think about it. Is he the only person in the league that could do that? Is he the only person in the league that could do that? Yes or no? Yes or no? Could they find somebody else that could do the same thing? We don't know. You know what I'm saying? They really could find somebody else. It's how hard is it? How hard is it to structure your offense around Steph Curry? That's what they already do. You can put somebody else in that same position that won't be a menace to society. Be how he uses gravity because Steph Curry is one of the most unique superstars in NBA history who is perhaps more dangerous without the ball than with it. And he's pretty good with the ball. So Draymond is hard to replace from an intangible standpoint. We're spoiled that players are playing longer. LeBron at 39, KD at 35. But how many years exactly does Curry have? How many years does he yeah, have Curry to be older? the running force of a team? I'm not going to Kendrick Perkins myself here, but... 
Curry thinks about it. And yes, while Curry proved all the hitters wrong winning a finals MVP, he has a chance to do something special. Something that would cement his legacy. And that's piece number three. A fifth championship can put Steph Curry as the best point guard of all time. At the current moment, there is the conversation of who is the best, Magic or... Let me know in the comments, y'all. Let me know in the comments. Who is y'all GOAT? Who is y'all GOAT? Now, it's funny, too, because when I was... When I was saying the intro and I said might not might be the best point guard of all time, the first person I thought about in my brain was Magic Johnson. You know what I'm saying? Let me know in the comments who y'all got, Magic or Steph? Steph. Even Steph was asked about it and said, Are you the best point guard ever? Yes. It's me and Magic. This is the conversation. And Curry is heady. He remembers what everyone says. He uses it to motivate him. Like everyone who said Steph couldn't carry a team, what does he do? Carry a team. When Cleveland boos him for the All-Star Game, he goes and wins All-Star Game MVP. Now the main argument holding Steph back versus Magic is that Magic has one more championship. But if that was equal- But how good was that Magic team though? How good was his team back in the day? Did he really have a GOAT team? Did he have a GOAT team that because I know Magic really was a passer. I know that he was a good assist. I don't think he scored too crazy. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Steph Curry really carrying his team every game. We talking about, remember, NBA play like every other day, right? So you mean tell me Steph Curry is dropping 30 points every other day in an NBA. In the NBA. That's hard to do, bro. It's hard to it's consistently do. While being 40 years old. You know what I'm saying? Was Magic doing that? I don't know. I'm, I'm a youngin. What, what do I know? Y'all probably know more. Alright, y'all got more NBA knowledge. Let me know in the comments. That's how would I feel, that though. mean Steph is the best point guard? Steph, like Jordan, takes a lot of things personally. And take the words of his teammates. He's competitive. He wants smoke. He be reading. This guy can, can do that with the Warriors. And this guy's the best point guard in the league. Nah, Steph be like, all right, say no more. I'm gonna I'm show you guys the difference. And apparently uh. Jordan said that Magic is the best point guard of all time. No matter how much players might downplay professionally, they care. Like when Shaq found out that Kobe won his fifth. You think I was pissed when you got number five? Of course you were. Oh, no doubt. Did. I told my house. Like, no doubt. I, I bet you did. No, I went crazy. Because <laughs> when I got four and you got four, I was like, hey, I yeah. got four, he got four, that's straight. When you got that fifth one, and yeah. then hold on, you said, I just wanted to get one more. Absolutely. Shot. This fifth championship puts Curry firmly. We still got to see the, the backstory behind him, too. I, I, I heard it was some, some beef. So you got to see. The, in the top 10 of all time. Because he's already done the rest. He has one of the biggest impacts on the game. He's a multiple time MVP winner, scoring champion, and broke countless records. The reason why we are entertaining this debate even now before Curry has his fifth is because he has the full resume. He has that aura. And if we put Magic and Steph's accomplishments side by side. There you go. That's all I want to see. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Who is this dude? MJ 2K all day. Let me know your more views from him, bro. I, I low key fuck with this channel. Um, so he has more points. Wait, oh shit. Oh no no no, he got less points. Wait, what? Oh no yeah yeah, yeah. I'm sure I'm sure. Okay okay okay. <laughs> okay so he has seventeen thousand, which actually shit seventeen thousand is nice. You have not that many less than Steph Curry and Steph Curry dropped thirty a game. So never mind, he do score. He got more, obviously he got more assists, obviously. Uh obviously, oh yeah, they <laughs> Okay. Alright. He has the most of all time, of course. Triple doubles. Yeah, because he, he was assist master. That's what it is. Ty okay. I mean shit. Let me know, bro. I mean, honestly, I feel like four time assist champion, two time scoring champion. Which one is more important? Assist or scoring? I feel like it depends on how you like the game. Um, if you like a more flashy style, which this, that's what I like, you know, somebody who could just, you know, take over the game, you will go with scoring. But if you want somebody, you want like real basketball, real team basketball, you know what I mean? You would do assists. Uh, me personally, bro, I, I like scoring, bro. You know what I'm saying? Assists is nice though. You know what I mean? You want to actually just be able to do both, really. You want to be able to be a complete player. Um, so yeah, I mean... 
died, you start seeing it. At the current moment, it's a bit more of what you value. Traditional playmaking or being the engine that sets up everything else without having to pass. But in most top 10 lists, Curry is at the 11-13 spot. If we look at the athletic, that's where several people have it. So when the Warriors were poised to make a run after two years of injuries derailing them and being one of the worst teams in the NBA, Curry knows what's at stake. He knows how little time he has, how championship windows can go in a flash. So that anger, these outbursts that we're seeing is what makes him great. He's so competitive that he can't take what's happening. I'm hoping that the Warriors can rally, that management doesn't fail to recognize the importance of these next few seasons. Because Curry deserves to at least have a competent team around him, not a reality TV show. The only notification I shout goes to Nathaniel. Thanks for the all day support. If you want to know how everyone hey. likes you about Zion,